everyone, this is Jamie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be in, um, reviewing these gel polishes. Sweet Temptation. Um, the website is Model Ones. ModelOnes.com. So, I tried this before and I forgot that I needed a base coat. Or I guess I didn't realize that I needed a top coat and a base coat. So, got the top coat and base coat. So this is Beatles gel polish. So different brands. I'm sure they work exactly the same. And then you also need to use a light. So I'm not going to film myself using this because that would be extremely boring because I'm sure it'll take a long time since I have to do top coat, light, and then maybe even two coats. I don't know. I'll explain it to you after I'm done. But here's my nails to start with. I just cut and filed them. Um, could use with some cuticle trimming probably, but it's as good as we're going to get. And then I will come back with my review and let you know how it goes. Hopefully it's better than when I just had used the gel on its own. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I did the nails. They turned out okay. Um, I've never done white before, but I, you know, I kind of like it. Um, the bad part it took a really long time, like over 30, like 30 minutes. I guess if we were at the salon, it would probably take around that amount of time, but I'm just not used to that. I, I don't ever get my nails done. So first of all, what you have to do, put on this base gel on your nails and then put it under the light for a minute. And then you do two coats of nail polish. And in between, you have to put it under the light for a minute. And you can only really do one hand at a time, I think. Maybe you could do two. I don't know. I only did one hand at a time. But maybe you could force two under there. I don't know if you're supposed to. But that might speed up the time a little bit. So I did three coats of the nail polish just because I missed some spots. And now I'm seeing I kind of still missed some spots. But it's all right. Um, so I did three coats. One minute drying it in between each. And then you need to do a gel top coat at the end. And then put the nails under. So, um, I feel okay. They honestly feel a little sticky. Um, I don't know if I should put them under the light for maybe a little longer. Uh, like, it feels like if you rub them, I don't know, almost like a greasy film or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll stick them under the light, but I don't know. I'm not really that happy with it. Um, if it doesn't get better in the next few minutes, I probably will send it back because I feel like if I touch something, it'll screw up my nails and it will get on something. So possibly send, I don't know, probably this stuff back. I think the base coat and the um, top coat, I think those are good. I just don't know about this stuff. So we'll have to see. I'll have to come back and update you in like an hour or something and see if it's still sticky or greasy. I wonder if I like put, yeah, it's like leaving fingerprints. So I'll put my nails under for another minute. And another thing which I found was a little weird was it kind of burned a little bit when after I put the top coat on and I stuck it under the light, it, a little bit of a burning, not, like, not terrible, not like I was pulling my hand out or anything, but uh, burning just maybe where I screwed up the nail like I don't know if you can see no you can't because this light is bright um I screwed it up and it got a little bit on my skin and that's kind of what felt like it was burning so it looks nice it went on okay I'm really bad at painting nails so I they don't look great I'm just trying to figure out a solution like do you really need to go to the nail salon probably not do I go anyway no but I would like my nail polish to last more than a few days. So this was that attempt for that. So far not impressed. But I will have to do another update maybe tomorrow. And then I'll add that on at the end here to see if it improved or to see if my nail polish is dripping off my fingers and I wasted a half hour of my night. So to be continued again. Here's my follow-up review. It's been not 24 hours, but maybe like 12 hours. You're lucky because usually when I film these reviews, I had been sleeping for a little bit, uh, putting my son to sleep.
Um, but I just was showered and everything. My hair still looks a little bit crazy, but anyway, back to the nails. I think I'm pretty pleased with this. Um, one nail, I don't know if I forgot to put the top coat on it or what, but every time I touch, it's still sticky. Every time I touch anything, it's got like fuzz all over it. I don't think I put it on the best. Um, where I missed my, <laughs> my nail and got it on my finger, it washed off really easily in the shower, so that was good. But like I was picking it off my skin, it was connected to my nail, so I ripped off a little bit. So far away, they look, they look all right. They look good. Um, close up, maybe not so good, but like I said, like, this is my first time trying this. Um, I don't remember how much it is to get a manicure since I think I've only done it, like, three times. And my last one was probably when I was pregnant with my son, who's six. So it's been a while. I'm guessing it's, like, $30. So for all these, you need the light, the top coat, the base coat, and the gel polish. I think the light was 23 or something. Um... The gel polish was 10 and then the top coat and base coat was, I think, 7 So it would be like, uh, I mean, 40-ish dollars. So probably cheaper than a manicure, if I'm correct, because you have to tip and everything. Maybe they're not that expensive, but I think they're at least $30, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try this again, and I'll probably do a much better job and won't get it all over my skin. I will say it's nice to go and get a manicure because they do everything. You just have to sit there, but this is cheaper. You can do it at home. You don't have to leave the house. You can do it when the kids are sleeping, which is probably your only option if you're like me. Um, yeah, I recommend this. I think I would give it four stars. Maybe if like I do it again, maybe I just need a little more practice. It will come out a little bit better next time, but I liked it. It's cheaper than a manicure, like I said, probably five times already. I think it's a good idea. I've also, maybe I'll do this in the future, but I've seen the dip stuff. I, if you've tried it, let me know. I'm curious about that. It looks easy. It looks too easy. <laughs> so, okay. So, four stars. I'll link all the products. Oh, probably from their own websites, not just Amazon. And thank you for watching. Bye.